Hello, people of YouTube. Kuranagi T here. Um, I know I'm like a week late because of work. I work at night shift now, and because of laziness. And there's not going to be any anime clips in this video because of that same laziness. So, let's get into this review. Jigma Heroes Episode Five Review. Okay, so the episode starts off with Goku and Cucumber. You know, doing, doing, doing a normal, you know, going up and down the screen fighting for like 30 seconds. Then Cucumber gets the upper hand on Goku. Throws him into the ground. Throws a few engine blasts at him. Um, and then he throws one final engine blast. Saying like, this would end you. So he throws it. And then out comes Super Saiyan. The other version of Goku and Vegeta in Super Saiyan 4. So they say if they're Goku that we know. And then they insta Patara fuse into Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Yes, you heard that right. Uh, it looks kind of actually looks kind of cool. I got it. I, I got it mixed up with Gogeta at first. To be honest, I've got the different fusions. So yeah, the Pitara fused to Super Saiyan Four Vegito. Um, you know, they start off fighting the same way again, up and down the screen fighting. Then they do uh, a beam struggle. Cucumber does his whatever his dark energy ball thing. Vegito does this command. Does his command mail wave. And I don't know if like they Vegito won the beam struggle, but I don't know if they killed him. Like, they just show the beam, like, blasting him into the sky, and then, nothing. So, I don't know if Cucumber's dead, or he's just temporarily knocked the fuck out. So then, uh, after that, they defuse, probably because of the same reason before, and, uh, if you watch the, um, if you watch Jokomo Super, when Vegito fought, um, the fuse version of Goku Black, that, uh, they defused early because of the... Excuse me. Because um the final the, the final commandment with that they use no so much power, so the time was split in half. So that might have been why they insta defused, but like this original was like only for like five minutes, so there must have been like a lot of power if they're going by that same logic. I don't know. And Sugar My Heroes, I don't know if I don't know if it's canon to the uh the series. I don't know if it's just something. I don't know. So after they defuse, um Bam, bam. Hold on, I'm trying to say. After they defuse, Fu shows up, and uh, he's mad because the other versions of Goku and Vegeta destroyed his laboratory and now fix experiments. No, yada yada yada. He's mad. So Goku says, "Bringing you in." Vegeta says, "Is our mission." So the episode ends with Fu getting ready to fight Super Saiyan for Goku and Vegeta, while our Goku is still unconscious. So, oh yeah, and guess what? Golden Freeze, I don't, not Golden Freeze, but Golden Cooler is still standing there doing absolutely nothing. I do not know what is his existence in this show. He has done nothing relevant outside of bringing Trunks to the battle at, I think it was, I think it was in episode two. Outside of that, he's done nothing. He's just been standing there. So hopefully he will get to fighting soon. Otherwise, I don't know what's funny from being there. So, yeah, um, yeah, that was Chuck My Heroes Episode 5 Review. Um, yeah, short as hell. Because the episode is only like six minutes long. No. It's about six minutes if you don't include the, um, the opening and the ending credits. So, that's about it. So, uh, we'll probably wait another two, three weeks for Episode 6. Honestly, I want to stop doing these, but I already started because I thought it's going to be weekly episodic, but it's not. So, um, yeah. I'll uh, catch you guys later. Bye.